good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel it simplified i hope you find these videos useful and subscribing to channel in today's session i'm here to talk about uh, azure advisor and uh, how it can help you so if you look at the uh, azure documentation azure advisor is like a personal assistant for you uh, so it gives you recommendation based on your consumption based on your configuration and uh, from one pane of glass based on different categories it will uh, give you all these information and you can take uh, preventive action by going into uh, those locations so as i said that uh, it's a free tool so the good thing is that uh, there is no charge for that because you as we know that uh, when we talk about cloud there are different bits and pieces so you want to make sure that you are using that at the optimum level and you're not consuming or paying anything extra so the good thing about the azure advisor is that it's a free tool it gives you advice and uh, it gives you advice on uh, four specific component and let me just uh, highlight that it will give information about high availability also advice upon uh, security based upon uh, your configuration how you can improve the performance and also most importantly how you can reduce the cost and we'll talk about that one by one but these are the four uh, uh, categories under which Azure Advisor can help you and it's also important to point over here is that uh, there are only specific services uh, on which Azure Advisor can give you some of the top one that comes to my mind is that it gives you information about the VMs so whatever servers you're deploying uh, different networking components such as traffic manager express route uh, different da databases such as Cosmos DB, SQL Warehouse, and actually you can go through the documentation on uh, what are the different uh, services it can help you. But these are some of the top one that comes to my mind. Because a lot of customers they deploy these virtual machines in the environment. Their servers are there, and obviously they have these networking component which are deployed, and how you can utilize at the now uh, optimum level so take example of high availability so say for example if i have deployed a server in a uh, in my environment if i deployed only one of them you know in case it goes down my customers won't be able to so it will give you uh, uh, it will advise me to put that on a on maybe an availability set right with that i can improve my high availability this is an example of uh, what uh, advisor can recommend for you Talking about the security, Azure Advisor integrate with Security Center. Which is a paid tool within the Azure. Actually, it comes in two flavor. It comes in uh, basic and standard. Basic is a free tool. It does only a minimum job for you. But if you want to have all those prompts, then you have to go with the, with the standard tier. The good thing is that Azure Advisor integrate with Azure Security Center and it will give you all the prompts, all the recommendation of your entire infrastructure and then you can take. So it it gives you also that capability. It will also advises you how you can improve the performance. So one example that comes to my mind is that uh, if you're using standard, maybe uh, drive, standard hard drive, you should bump this up to premium because it gives you more uh, IOPS. That's one example. If you're using an unmanaged disk, you can improve that to, uh, uh, you can upgrade that to a managed disk uh, to improve the performance. If you're using an app service, actually app service is also is under this category. So uh, advisor also take care of the app services, give you advice on that. So if you're using maybe as you know that app services comes in uh, different uh, flavors it comes in basic standard isolated uh, premium 
So if you're using basic, maybe it doesn't have all the features. It doesn't have the kind of compute power you want. Maybe you can upgrade that to a standard or a premium tier. So that's also an example of uh, how it will give you advice on improving the performance. So it will also give you information or advice on the performance. And the other thing is the cost, right? So whatever resources you deploy uh, in Azure, there is a cost associated with this. So over a period of time, if you see that your machines, uh, you're not using them on specific uh, time of the day. So for example, I come across a lot of customers who don't need to uh, keep those machines running on the weekends or even during the weekdays from say 11 p.m. till uh, 4 a.m. At that time, you can uh, shut down those machines. You can automate those process. And if you do that, there's a lot of cost savings. So you can do that too. And Azure will advise you that uh, that's one, one uh, trick you can use uh, uh, in order to uh, reduce the cost. So that's, that's one example. I'm just trying to think of uh, uh, some other examples of uh, uh, saving, the, uh, saving the cost. Maybe you, know, you have uh, deployed a machine, say a D-series virtual machine. And uh, the kind of application that you're running on that server, it's an overkill. You don't need to run that. Maybe you can downgrade that to a lower series of virtual machine and it will uh, help you to save money at the end of the month. So uh, maybe scheduling of server. Right. You can scale down your machine. If you're using the machine which is more powerful and which you don't require based on the consumption, it will also give you. But the thing is, this is very important information. Now, if I have this as an organization, uh, I can utilize this information. I can download this on a PDF file or there are different ways you, uh, you can you can take it out. And you can give this to maybe the, uh, the project manager, whoever is in charge. And you don't need to uh, see that you don't have to configure because this comes out of the box. It's a free tool. And then you can present this to a project manager and you can implement those uh, uh, in the organization. So from availability, security, performance, cost wise, in the end of the day, it's like optimizing your cloud resources to make it more cost effective. And this can be applied at a resource level. You can apply it at the whole subscription level or you can also apply this at the at the resource group level too. So that's another good thing, right? So because it's a free tool, I will highly recommend that uh, you should use it. So with that, uh, this was a bit of theory. So let me show you actually where to find Azure Advisor on the Azure portal. So let me flip over. So I'm on my Azure subscription, as you can see. And if you want to just go to Advisor, you can just do a quick search it will take you to Azure Advisor. And as I said that uh, I am on the overview page and there are four categories. There is high availability, security, performance, and uh, cost. And uh, under high availability, I have two recommendations, five under security, out of which two are high impact. Under the performance and cost, you see I got a green check mark. Uh, the reason being that uh, I don't have that resources running over a period of time because to give you recommendation or to advise you on the performance and the cost, you got to have that machines or those services running for a certain amount of time before that can be uh, advised. What is the what is the right sizing for that, right? But let's see. If, for example, if I want to go into the high availability, so I'm just going to go inside this and see it is saying that I need to use availability set for improved fault tolerance because as of right now, I have one machine only in the environment. It means it's saying that, uh, you know, it's not good from availability point of view, so it's recommending me. And it's also asking me to create an Azure service health alert, which is a low priority, This, but uh, this part is an, uh, is an high impact, right? Let's go to the security. So here I have five recommendations out of which two are high impact and three are medium impact. And it's pulling all this information from Azure Security Center. And some of the top two is saying is that I have not associated network security group with my subnet. So I need to take care of this. 
it is also saying that uh, uh, I need to enable HTTPS. I have only enabled HTTP, which is not secure, as we all know, for my web applications. It's also giving me that prompts too. Now, it is also saying that uh, management ports should be closed because as we all know that, uh, you know, all these RDP or SSH ports, which we generally open because we need to connect to those machines. And uh, these are high risk port in a way that a lot of hackers, they try to hack into the machine by using these ports. So Azure Security Center uh, can also help us to, to uh, you know, protect from those kind of threats. And that's why you can see that uh, it's giving me that uh, prompt, though it's medium. I need to take care of that because Azure Advisor integrates with Azure Security Center. Some of the other also you see. And uh, I, I mentioned about the performance and the cost. Uh, I don't have any prompts. As I said, that I don't have those machines running over a period of time. But uh, you can create alert rules also if you want. You can create that. Uh, if I can just go to click on create alert, I can specify what resources I want, what kind of category I want, the impact level, uh, name of the alert, right? I want to enable, so I can also I can also do that too. And if I go under the configuration, as I said that I can I have these two subscriptions. I have enable this for both of them. By default, it will be enabled for you, but if you want to just uncheck, I don't know why you will do that, uh, but you can you can uh, do that too. And uh, if I go to the overview, that gives me a complete bird's eye view of uh, what, is, uh, what is happening in my subscription. So this is what uh, Azure Advisor will help me to do. I'll highly recommend because it's a free tool, you should use this. Uh, this will help you to optimize your cloud deployment and make it more cost effective. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.